Well, I hope you enjoyed today's playlist. I think you got to agree that Tommy Toehold is some pretty funny shit, and Shel Sonnen is uh, always an interesting interview, to say the least. Up next, now it's time for Kid Nate's rant of the day. I'm going to talk about CBS sports columnist Greg Doyle and his two recent hit pieces on Dana White. As soon as the UFC 151 cancellation press conference was over, it seems like Doyle had his piece on uh, Dana White's behavior at that press conference ready to go and published on CBS Sports. I think he called it the most Dana White thing ever. Dana does the most Dana White thing ever. Basically, Doyle took Dana to the woodshed for his unprofessional behavior at UFC 151, implying that blaming John Jones, the UFC light heavyweight champion and the promotion's biggest star, for the cancellation was a uh, bit of a questionable move. In the second column, Doyle uh, says that Dana White's actions prove that there's a need for a UFC fighters union. Now, i got to say, Doyle is probably yelling at deaf ears. Uh, you know, the, the Dana White's certainly not listening. The UFC fighters are definitely not listening. But Doyle's a major columnist for CBS Sports, which is one of the biggest sports publications in the world, or at least in the North American market, which is all that the UFC really cares about. Uh, okay. They care about some other markets, but this is where their bread and butter is made. Dana White's talked a lot of trash over the years about how MMA is going to become the biggest sport in the world, bigger than soccer, how they're going to become a mainstream sport in the U.S., bigger than hockey, etc., etc. And this is the kind of thing that Dana White's going to have to get used to if he wants to play with the big boys. Right now, Dana's uh, a little bit bruised, a little bit battered, uh, taking some time. He even took some days off Twitter. And, you know, I think it's good. I think it's good that Dana takes some time and reflect and, and think. I mean, the guy's schedule is crushing. It's murderous. It's killer. It's taking a toll on his health. And clearly, it may have taken a toll on how much time he puts into thinking about what the UFC is doing. They've been on a mode of executing, 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 putting on fight card after fight card after fight card, and finally it all blew up in their face when they had to cancel UFC 151. I think Dana White's learned some painful lessons. I hope he has. And I think that writers like Greg Doyle, I know Dana White's paying attention to these guys because they're, they're the exact kind of major league sports writer Dana White claims to care about because he doesn't care about internet writers like me. So I hope, I hope Dana's listening to Doyle. I think Doyle's a little bit unfair in his attacks on Dana White, but I also think he has some good points, especially about the fighters' union. That's something that the fighters ought to consider, although that wouldn't necessarily be the best thing for fans. Fighters' unions mean strikes, complications, you know, lockouts, all that stuff fans just hate. So we'll see what comes about. But I do think I do think that's what's best for the fighters. It's not necessarily what's best for the fans with promotion, but fighters gotta look out for themselves and I think organizing into a fighters union is something that they should explore. However, with the lock that the UFC has on the sport right now, I don't see that happening anytime soon. So good luck. Mr. Doyle, I appreciate you writing about our sport and bringing that to the attention of the mainstream. I do wish you'd write something about the positive side of MMA and why it's a fun sport for people to watch, but hopefully Dana White's reading and listening and thinking, listening to the fans, and that the UFC is going to come out of this stronger and better with some creative ideas for the fall and winter. And something they need to do something to make the most of this Fox deal while they've got it. I, I don't. Not that they're in danger of losing the Fox deal. I just say they've they've got to kick ass on this deal, and so far. Their ass is the one getting kicked. We'll be back tomorrow with more MMA of the day and another Kid Nate rant. Hope you like this one. Enjoy.